good morning, good morning. So I've been talking about uh, reducing the waste. So already I talked about pre-cycle. Now I'm talking about reduce, reduce. It's a wisdom, reduce. In the natural world, for example, frogs, if there is no rain, they never reproduce. They won't sing songs, <laughs> serenade, and make love, and make eggs, and babies. They won't. When there is enough rain, then they sing and serenade, and they do, plus they produce their babies. See? They reduce. According to the natural world, according to the environment, it is in their genes not to produce, reduce. This year, no rain, let us not produce babies. Fish, the same thing. Natural world, every creature reduces according to the environment, not to pollute, not to exploit, not to overload. Only us Homo sapiens, that is our species name. Only we have misunderstood everything. We know everything. Arrogance. In the natural world, humility is there. That is the reason why they survive for millions of years. Ours stiff-necked, arrogant Homo sapiens. That say even two, three million years our survival is in stake. Yeah. So reduce. How to reduce? You go for shopping, you decide to shop anyway. And you go to shop. When you buy something and uh, big packages today, big packages, inside plastic, inside styrofoam, that small peanuts, white stuff, a lot of things they put for cushioning that product. Lot of stuff inside, manual books and and they give you <coughs> pamphlets also. They give you to push their own products in a big catalog. Please take it, please take it. Colorful, no? You are tempted to take all of them. But say no. Leave them there. Only take the instruction manual for the machine eh? uh, to operate well, no? The rest of the pamphlets, leave them in the store. Tell them thank you, you keep all the rubbish, all the waste you keep. I want. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. So, you can reduce waste there itself. So, by leaving all those unwanted stuff in the store, your house is not filled with waste. And your environment is clean. So, never accept plastic bags. Tell them to keep it. Package, leave there. Just bring the product. If you like to recycle the package, well, you bring the, uh, that big box. If you need it, you can put clothes there. Sure. If you are able to recycle it and reuse it, you can bring them home. So today, we buy lots of stuff. But you can reduce at the source, especially the Chinese products. You see, Chinese are so clever, they turn their waste into a commodity. Smart Chinese, smart, foolish Indians, we are buying the garbage, we are buying their waste. They transform it so beautifully, colorful, and it is a product, and we are deceived. It's an illusion, it's a maya. Waste, we are buying it. In trains and in roadsides, so flooded. You know, it's a new flood. It's like a flood in the Nova time. That is a water flood. This is an electronic flood. It's flooding from China to India. And we are buying and buying and buying. And you go within a month, it is kaput. It's finished, useless. And you throw it in the landfill. Landfill is the biggest problem today in India. That's why our Prime Minister tells, clean it up, clean it up. So we can 
Stop waste by not buying it, especially reducing our consumption. So say no to all these useless products. They are not useful. They are a headache. Until you buy your peace. After buying, you ruin your peace. So reducing our consumption, you are reducing your distress. You are reducing your sadness. You are reducing your disappointment. You are reducing your anxiety, stress and cortisol in your body and your health will not be spoiled. So the amount you reduce, you reduce all the sicknesses in your body and you enjoy good health. So I tell you, for all good stuff in our life like peace and joy and happiness and contentment, satisfaction, everything comes by reducing by not buying anything because they cause only trouble after some time. They might give you little happiness, but they give you a lot of trouble. So by reducing, you can stop the production of the waste. Please don't buy.